So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I absolutely love uh, these Argon cases. They're, uh, they're simple, they're elegant, they've got uh, everything across the back here as far as all of your IO and that sort of thing. Uh, plus, uh, this particular case has uh, the ability to add an M.2 uh, drive to the bottom section down here, and that's what's connected right here. And as much as I absolutely love these cases, I was recently on Amazon and discovered something uh, that I really wanted to check out. It was like 20 bucks or less than 20 bucks anyway. Uh, so let's get this apart so that I can show you what I found. So let's flip this over. Uh, I've only got a couple of screws. Oops, focus. All right, I've only got a couple of screws holding this whole thing together because that's just how I tend to roll with this stuff. So I'm going to pull that out, pull that off, and right there you can see I've got uh, a 200, and I think it's 256 gig drive there. I'm going to set that aside, I'll put those screws in there like so, and then all of this should just kind of pop out like so. And here we can see that there's, I've got some thermal pads in there, I'm going to go ahead and set those aside as well. And then there's this adapter board uh, that'll take off so that we're just down, come on, there we go, to the bare uh, Raspberry Pi 4. I don't remember this is a four gig or an eight gig, but it's a Raspberry Pi 4 nonetheless. So we'll set that there. In fact, we'll set that aside like so. <clears throat> and then we're gonna grab this. Okay, so there we go. So here we've got this box, it says made in China on it. Let's go ahead and get it opened up. First thing we see here, uh, this is gonna be a little, I think 40 millimeter fan uh, that we're gonna use to cool this. I believe this is like an electric light blue color. Uh, so we'll definitely check that out when we're ready. Uh, we've got some heat sinks. I've got tons of heat sinks around, so that's not a big deal. Hey, that even actually came with a screwdriver. Well done. Uh, I'm just gonna keep using mine, but it came with one, so that's good. Uh, here we've got another adapter board. Uh, this is gonna do basically the same thing as the other one is, uh, is concerned. So basically we're going to plug this in uh, like so. There we go. And uh, there. So now we've got all of our IO across the back, uh, including our power, our audio, a couple of HDMIs. Uh, what I do like about this is it actually will put a USB uh, port on the front of the device, like a normal little uh, desktop computer might do. So I really like that that was actually a big selling point for me was having a USB port on the front. I do believe though, it is just USB 2, um, but better than nothing. So go ahead and set that aside as well. Uh, here we've got all of our uh, standoffs and screws and nuts and bolts and all that kind of stuff that we'll need. And then there's all of this. Uh, this is uh, an acrylic case. Uh, if I can get this out of, I, I love the packaging. They wrapped it in bubble wrap, then they wrapped it in uh, an envelope pack or a, a sealed bag here. And then uh, we've got some instructions. I'll set those aside. Who knows, maybe I'll use them. Uh, but basically here is going to be the top. Right there's where the fan's gonna go. Uh, we've got some side pieces, some front pieces. Uh, that's gonna go, go across the back. That feels pretty flimsy. Hopefully it's not broken inside. Uh, but we've got some different pieces here. So let's go ahead and get uh, all of the uh, protective paper off. Man, this paper is really thin. Doesn't want to come off as a single unit. All right, uh, one, one down and several more to go. <clears throat> all right, that is all of those pieces <clears throat> all clean or all cleaned up with all the paper off of them, that sort of thing. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there are fingerprints all over these. I may want to clean those up uh, before I go ahead and put everything together, but who knows? Let's just run with it and see what happens here. So I'm going to start with the bottom piece here. Uh, I believe this is going to go this way. I guess I'll have to line up maybe. So let's take a look at this. All right, so we're gonna grab this, it looks like. And we're gonna put a screw through here. And then these are, they're labeled thick and thin. So I'm gonna have to kind of figure out which one is which. Oh, there we go, those are thin, these are thick. And, and the reason for that is that if you look here, 
Uh, maybe it's, it might be kind of hard to tell there. Anyway, this side is higher up, so we're gonna have to uh, put some taller uh, standoffs under this to give it the full support that it needs. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead, get that one there, and then we'll grab another screw and we'll put that one through here. Grab this other thick one here, like so. And then I will go ahead and do the same thing with the four uh, shorter standoffs on the other side here. All right, so now we've got our uh, base set up here, so we should be able to uh. more or less like so. All right, good, gee, good deal there. So let's see what it says to do next. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Eight, like so. Oh, you know what? I bet those are different sizes too. They are different sizes. So, short one's gonna go over here. Long one's gonna go over here. Long one on this side. Short one on that side. Okay, so next we're gonna put these nuts on here. I just do not care about that screw all that much. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. I'm gonna call that good. So <clears throat> next we're gonna do, we're gonna deal with this. Uh, so what we wanna do next, I think we'll be put to put uh, some uh, heat spreaders on there. So let's go ahead and dump those out. All right, and then, you know, I think that's good enough for what we're doing here. So next thing, some feet for the bottom of the case. And then we wanna make sure that <clears throat> we get this positioned so that uh, the, the uh, red one can go there and the black one can go right next to it. But we don't wanna do that just yet. What we wanna do first, obviously, is uh, get this right up Oops, right there. Would it help if I paid attention? So. All right, so that's those two. These should get hopefully progressively easier as we go. All right, and they even gave us an extra little nut there, uh, just in case you drop one, lose it, whatever. All right, just like so. And then, like I said, we gotta plug in that one there and this one here. Uh, you can look up the pin out. Uh, for those uh, basically anywhere online. Uh, there'll be tons and tons of options or resources on where you can find uh, the correct pin out for that. But basically those are just gonna go there like so. And then we're gonna figure out where all of this stuff goes. And it's pretty self-explanatory. There we go. It really does help if you get it going the right way. That, and then let's see, we're gonna put this one uh, over here. Oh, and these are actually keyed. They're offset just a little bit, I think. Yeah, they're offset just a little bit, uh, so you can kind of get a better idea of which way they're supposed to go. And then this one, we'll go over here. Nope, oh, like this. And then this one should go over here. About like that. Tuck the little wires in. Hopefully, it all just lines up. There we go. All right, so now we can take our screws. The uh, four, they're gonna go in right here. Obviously, you don't want to tighten those too tight. You don't want to crack the acrylic. That would be awful. You spend this much time putting it together, which really wasn't bad. Uh, it was very, very intuitive overall. Um, in fact, I think the instructions were more confusing than they were uh, helpful, uh, other than they did indicate that uh, there were two different sizes uh, of, of these uh, standoffs in the middle there. Uh, but other than that, the, the instructions were pretty uh, useless. Not to say that they weren't appreciated, but uh, it, the, the, this whole thing is pretty intuitive uh, to put together like so. And there you go. So what, again, what I really like about this is all of this, you know, would sit uh, towards the back of your desk, uh, you know, something like that or whatever, I guess. 
I guess we'd look at it this way. This would be towards the back, even though that's my front. Uh, and then, of course, like I said, on the front, you've got uh, a USB uh, port right there uh, that's, of course, wired in to go through that USB-C uh, port there. Again, you're only going to get USB 2 speeds there. Um, but overall, that's that's fine. That's not really a big deal. Uh, definitely not a deal breaker for me here. Um, I'm not even sure if I'll continue to use this. I just I really liked the idea, the concept behind this. Uh, and I feel like you could you could do some fun stuff with these cases. Uh, and again, you've got access to your GPIO pins there. Uh, you've got your camera slot up here uh, or down here. You've got a ribbon cable access in a couple of spots, GPIO access. You got the whole thing all set up and ready to go. So, so next thing we want to do is actually go ahead and power this thing on and take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we've got our power cable. Uh, we're gonna plug in right there on that USB-C slot, like so. You know, and that is kind of hard to see. So let me let me turn off some lights and let's get a better look at that. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Uh, so now we've got this this lit up. Um, um, this is me. I'm holding it kind of right up next to the microphone here. Uh, that's super, super quiet uh, for for what it's doing there. Uh, I can feel a little air coming out the sides. Not a ton, but it's but enough. So over here, you've got your lights to let you know what's going on. I don't have a hard drive in here, or an SD card or anything, so this isn't going to run. But uh, you can see that your lights are right there. Uh, fan lights up really well. I kind of wish... I kind of wish there was something over here uh, on this side uh, that would give us access to, uh, you know, uh, an M.2, even if it was like a, just a real short one, uh, that would have been really neat to see right there. Um, but I really dig just the simplicity of it. I like being able to see everything. Of course, I like the, the blue, of course, DB Tech uh, branding is blue. So I, I really do dig that. It was kind of one of the things that I think originally drew me to this. Uh, was seeing that blue uh, there on Amazon. Of course, I'll have this linked in the description down below so you can pick one of these up for yourself. Um, but overall, this is a pretty neat little case, easy to put together. Uh, again, it is acrylic, so it's gonna be a finger to print magnet. It's gonna be uh, a magnet for scratches and scuffs and things like that. So I uh, definitely make sure that you're, uh, that you're aware of that. Of course, you may also want to uh, flip it over and uh, put some feet on it. So let's just do that uh, real, real quick. I'm not even gonna put that on in there. I'll put that there. Let's get some feet on this thing. Put them right here in the corners. Of course, you can't see that. Hey, turn on the office lights. Sure, turning office lights on. Okay, so there's one uh, right there. And then we'll go ahead and put another one right over here in this little corner right there. And then uh, we'll put one, of course, right here. We're just trying to hit all the corners there, like so, just like that. And now, now I feel safe to go ahead and set that down. I feel like you could actually stack these uh, because this has got uh, enough of a raised uh, foot there that you could stack these and this would still be able to suck in air pretty easily. Um, so I think that's a, a, a really good uh, thing they've done as, as far as design is concerned. So like I said, I really I really dig the aesthetic. I like the the functionality again, that, that front USB port, man. I don't know why I keep going back to that. I really like that it's there. Uh, of course, easy access to everything across the back uh, would make this a great uh, little just if you if you had a relative or somebody who needed to get online uh, and just needed something to uh, to get on and check their email, check their bank accounts, things like that. And they just wanted a small footprint computer. I feel like this would be a great option to set this up. Okay guys, so there is the Geek Pi acrylic Raspberry Pi for a uh, set top box kit. Uh, it's a hell of a mouthful, but it's a very cool little product. I picked it up for less than 20 bucks. Of course, that mileage may vary depending on where you are and what prices are doing right now, but uh, there will be a link in the description where you can pick one of these up for yourself. It will be an affiliate link, so there's, there's that. Um, but definitely check this out if you're interested in a set top box style kit for your Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, but I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.